Good morning, friends. It's about 6.30 on Monday morning. Ideally, I would have done this yesterday afternoon, but instead we went and picked rocks. I'm about to plan my week, and I'm gonna show you how I plan my week. I have used roughly similar method for a long time. It's more about how I write it down or whatever, and I'm gonna show you my low-tech way on how I plan my week. To plan your week Kate style, you need your calendar or your day book so you know what you have going on. You need ideally last week's list that shows you things you didn't get done that you need to get done this week. You got pen and paper. You can use lined paper, fancy paper, whatever paper. Coffee is nice. Dinner from last night, leftovers is optional. And I always check the weather. At this time of year, the weather is a big deal on how I plan my week. If it's gonna pour with rain, well, number one, I'm not gonna plan garden things, and I'm not gonna plan to water the garden, and I'm gonna work on inside projects. If there's only a couple days this week where it's going to be rainy, then I'm gonna make sure on those days, that's when I plan my inside things, and the other days is when I plan my outside things, or on a rainy day is when I work in the greenhouse, or things like that. So it makes a big difference. So let's check the weather and see what our weather for this week looks like. I'm in Canada, so this is in Celsius. But basically today, this afternoon, we can get showers and tomorrow it's supposed to rain and then it's supposed to be kind of sun and clouds. Like 15 degrees is like 60 degrees Fahrenheit. And then back to maybe rainy on the weekend. But like chance of showers and 14 degrees is still very good outside working weather. Um, I checked two different weathers because we're kind of in between big towns. So this one, interestingly enough, says it's going to be sunny all day. And then rainy tomorrow. So, let's plan our week. The next step here is to look at the week. We're going to hang out with friends today. I thought I was picking up piglets this week, but that's next week. Mac is hosting a cousin's summer camp. Um, I'm more on that later. Uh, Friday, my kids are with Anna, and the weekend, I'm sure we've got things going on, but nothing's written down. So again, these are things to consider while planning the week. So I just roughly write out... Um, <laughs> I have a space there. If this bothered you, you could just cut this off, but I'll just use that for making notes. All I do is I write the days of the week, and then I divide this in half, and I write our meals here. We don't stick super strict by the breakfast and lunch, but it gives me an idea if I'm stuck. Dumped. So, I write the meals here in this column, and I write the chores here in this column. So today is Monday. We need to rock pick this morning. And we're going to friends this afternoon, um, and we're going to, I'm going to help her weed her garden. Because at this time of year, if you want to go visit a friend, you're probably going to be working alongside them, or they're going to be working alongside you at your house. Inside the house, I wanted to deep clean the living room. So there we have one in outside goal, one inside goal, and then we're out all afternoon. Breakfast, uh, I feel like something easy. Smoothies, a little snack plate lunch. The kids make these meals a lot these days. And I'm gonna grab out steaks because Marius likes those in his lunch. And at the same time I grab out steaks, I'm going to grab out a ham for us to have tomorrow night. Now, cousin summer camp on Wednesday. I'm gonna need to be outside mostly for that, unless it's bad weather, then we'll be inside. But this isn't a day when I can, um, 
you know, work on a really in-depth project. So I think I'm going to weed the kitchen garden that day because that will be around where they are and I can just putter around at that. And then a quick job I can get done in side before cousins come over is make sure everybody has clean sheets. Now, this was just the Thursday to Sunday one here, but I'm just gonna look through and see what I didn't get done. I wasn't able to finish wheel hoeing the garden, so I need to finish that. Didn't get this home setting near the highway video done. Did get that done. <sighs> do, 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 do. Um, living room, weed the strawberries is another one I need to get done. So Tuesday is supposed to pour with rain and Friday my kids are at Anna's. So we're gonna try for Thursday, weed the strawberry bed. The videos and such, since my kids will be with Anna on Friday, I'm gonna work on online work that day. So videos, editing, emails, those sort of things. Um, okay, it still leaves us with Tuesday, which is supposed to be bad weather, and I have stuff to do in the greenhouse. So we're gonna pot up stuff in the greenhouse. And inside, we're gonna do the basement. It always needs help. Uh, we need an inside job for Thursday. Let's make that our vacuum the whole house, not just the main areas, and mop and bathrooms. Saturday and Sunday, I don't plan inside chores. We usually have some sort of outside things going on, and I don't really plan it till closer to the weekend when Mary and I start talking about what our priorities for that weekend are. Now, meals. Breakfast these days are either smoothies or potatoes and eggs or potatoes and leftovers meat. Um, with being fairly low grains for Hamish, we're not completely grain free, but fairly, we just swap between those two. And then because smoothies are so handy for grain free, if we're not having a snack plate lunch for breakfast, for lunch, which the kids will make, we are usually having a smoothie for lunch. So we have a smoothie almost every day because the kids can make it themselves and they can make it for everybody. So we just fill in and on Sunday we always have soup and actually we're not having bread these days. <laughs> so there you go. Dinner. Um, so Tuesday is a bad weather day, so nice day to make a ham and potatoes and we'll go broccoli from the freezer. Uh, we'll have salad from the greenhouse tonight. Wednesday is a cousin's summer camp. I think I'm gonna take leftover ham um, and make my potato casserole because I can make that just at some point during the day and bake it for dinner. Thursday, let's see. Let's go burgers. Those will be lettuce wraps and fries. We love lettuce wrap burgers. Friday, kids are with Anna, so I want an easy meal. I'm gonna throw a pot roast in. We have lots of beef right now and very little chicken. We have beef and pork. Actually, we'll make this a pork pot roast. We have lots of pork and beef and very little chicken these days chicken is still currently growing outside. Pot roast and potatoes. Um, so then that leftover pot roast can become part of breakfast tomorrow, which is awesome. Some of that ham will become part of a breakfast too. Saturday night, um, let's go fish on the grill. And, oh, surprise, grilled potatoes. And guess what guys, we eat a lot of potatoes. Sunday dinner, 
I don't have a leftover meal in here anywhere. So we can also have leftovers just for lunch. And, or the kids, like, if there's leftover burgers, they'll have those for breakfast. Uh, let's call Sunday leftovers. So, every day I've got an outside and an inside goal. Do -do. I don't have an outside goal here, but that's just a work day for me. And I'll figure this one out closer to the weekend when Marius and I figure out what he wants to get done and I'll get done accordingly. So here's the thing. This is here to guide you, but it does not own you. Oh, that coffee's getting cold. If we get to Thursday and I have burgers and fries for dinner on the list, but I look in the fridge and we have lots of leftovers, I just won't make burgers and fries. We'll have leftovers. I will always ditch taking out a new meat or meal in favor of using up what's in the fridge. Um, if Mac wakes up on a morning that we're supposed to have smoothies and he decides he wants to make pancakes, that's cool. He can make pancakes. I don't live and die by my meal plan. It's okay to be flexible, but it's also nice to have ideas so that when you are feeling kind of stressed and spaced on meals, you can figure it out. As for my indoor outdoor chores, um, you know, let's say Tuesday, we're supposed to clean up the basement and pot up things in the greenhouse. If we get to Tuesday and a friend calls and they're like, hey, do you guys wanna come over? We'll probably ditch our chores to go visit a friend. If it's a chore, we can ditch. If it's a rainy day, we can ditch cleaning the basement. That's fine. Probably can't ditch potting up stuff in the, in the greenhouse. You know, there's always chores you can ditch versus chores you can't. In our house, um, so I wake up the kids pretty soon here. I wake them up at seven. We do animal chores, breakfast. Um, well, why don't I just show you the kids' lists? That would be good, Kate. Hamish's list here by nine, so I block it out, they like this. Animals, dressed, bring down laundry, unload the dishwasher with Freya, and then we do some weeding in the garden. They like to get it done before nine if it's gonna be a hot day. He needs to load the dishwasher and practice piano by lunch. Uh, this is usually when they're helping me on some sort of outside chore. By dinner, he needs to set the table, put all the laundry away, and his house tidy jobs are the living room and the mudroom. These are the days that he helps with meals. These are the days that he vacuums. And these are kind of where they work a bit extra every day. So they've got Monday mopping, Tuesday bedroom sheets, Wednesday basement, Thursday bathrooms, Friday deck, Saturday yard pickup and we don't plan chores for Sunday. After dinner, Ham needs to help clean the kitchen and get ready for bed. So these are somewhat flexible. We just put this down last week, um, but it's just kind of, this is still flexible. This is still a working thing that I'm not so sure on. Max 9 a.m. list is animals. In winter, he would have to light the furnace. Just weed the garden. Meal days, vacuum days. He needs to make iced tea, practice piano. He folds and sorts the laundry and he cleans up the kitchen in the entryway. And after dinner, he has to load up the dishwasher, clear the table, clean the kitchen, ready for bed. The, this is not then only the only jobs they do in a week. They still need to do, you know, there's always gonna be ones that we're helping on and we're working on all together. And it's just, helps give us a framework on what we need to do. So, I would love to know how you guys plan your week. Are you a digital person or a paper person? I cannot do digital planning. I am all paper, all the way, all the way. Oh, I just realized I need to add to my list some different things for stuff I need to post for our homemade life. So, I should get on that. The last thing I do then is, um, 
I make my to-do list on the morning of. I don't usually make my to-do list until the kids are up, but I'm gonna show you now. Normally before the kids are up, I'm either just, depending on my mood, drinking coffee and reading a book or replying to messages from all you lovely folks, or maybe I'm sitting at the computer working on a project, but then once they get up and going, I make my list for the day. So I have a book, just a notebook that I make lists in. I always look at my previous day list to see if there's anything that I didn't get done that I do need to get done. And it doesn't look like there was really anything there, so I just flipped to a new page. I didn't write much of a to-do list because it was Sunday. So I'm pretty basic in paper low tech. So it's Monday, if you can even understand that. So we're gonna go, I like to time block. I'll explain my time blocks in a minute here. Okay. Seven to nine is like our morning chunk, get everything going in here, and then we're gonna get out rock picking somewhere in there. Depends on how our morning goes. Rowan is sleeping for most of this chunk, so I'm gonna need to work on the computer. And once she wakes up, like she goes down between 10 and 11 and sleeps till about one. When she wakes up, we're gonna go to Tabert's and bring the wheel hoe, the weeding garden. Here is where we're gonna do quick, tidy animals. Um, prep dinner. So, we'll go breakfast. I always write dressed and make my bed. <laughs> I'm just gonna write rock pick kind of in the middle here because I don't know how long it's gonna take. And then in here, we're gonna deep clean the living room. I kind of have like big jobs today, not a bunch of small jobs. I got a little laundry I need to hang up. So then down here, I'll write take down laundry. Any computer work I need to do here. Here's where I ended up for today. Seven to nine, we got breakfast, dress bed, hang laundry, meet out, and then we'll head rock picking. Deep clean living room, I had to do some computer work, except coffee pot for tomorrow morning. I do that earlier in the day, so don't forget. Clean the kitchen, Mac, I'm gonna ask if he wants to make buff muffins or a treat to bring to friends. Go to friends, come home, quick tidy vacuum, animals, prep dinner. I might try prep dinner earlier in the day, but it's a pretty low prep dinner that I'm not really worried about it. Take down the laundry, dinner, clean up, kids to bed, and then that eight to 10 chunk, I haven't written anything. I might work on the computer if there's stuff I need to get done today. It's kind of a heavy computer work day. Or I might just watch a movie or a show with my husband. See where he's at. He might want to go bear hunting.